Hello everybody <laughs> and welcome back to my channel and welcome to this video, this brand new video, the first Sims video I have done in a hot minute. <laughs> um, so this is just going to be a current household video. Do you guys remember those? And this is just like one of my current households, but you know, I've been getting back into the swing of things and um, I really felt like some things have needed some updating you know i'm still planning to do an update for the langley family or you know all that good stuff but i also kind of want to jump off and do some different things um so i figured a safe and soft way to begin and just sort of reintroduce myself to you guys and anybody new that's coming by is to kind of safely go into a current household or one of my current households i should say so I will say right off the bat, I play a lot differently than I ever did um, my Let's Plays anymore. And by that I mean, um, <clears throat> sorry if you heard a noise, I was moving my mic back a little bit. Uh, by that I mean, I still like to have several segmented stories going on, but I don't break them apart between saves as much as i did like with my let's plays which makes sense because you know each let's play has its own storyline going on so you don't really want to you know interfere with things too much so <clears throat> excuse me guys if my voice is kind of fucked up at the moment um I, your girl has had a struggle bus today okay let me just put it that way but so let me introduce you to the fam bam you might already recognize this little feller here this is thorn bailey and he came from the uh get famous expansion pack he's a townie that came along with the game and if you're familiar at all you would know that at the game's you know core um he set up to be in a marriage with Octavia, who is a beautiful woman, and they have a child together, and she sort of, like, supports him. She's, like, the meat, really, of his career in the sense that, like, she, you know, writes his songs and all that kind of stuff. Like, she's a supportive role to him, whereas he's really the one with all the stardom and all that good stuff. But what happened here, obviously, is uh, he's hooked up with my sim here, Cleo. And I forget what her last name was originally now. Oh my god, that was wonky. Talk about sims glitches. <laughs> oh my goodness. Of course, only when I'm doing videos does it get super glitchy and friggin' weird. Shall we try that again? Hold on. Let me see if it's that bad the second time around. <laughs> Okay, hello, can I hug my child? Oh, I missed it, there it was. Jeez Louisa, there's so many damn interactions. All right, there we go, let's try it again. There, that was a little more normal. <laughs> so, Cleo, a little backstory on Cleo. Let me just say, to sum her up, she is superwoman i mean you know not to make a mary jane character at all there are definitely some flaws to her but at her core she is ambitious she is relentless she is determined she is confident beyond words like she owns any room that she walks into you know and she didn't even really intend to wind up with thorn it was kind of a political move or not even a political move it was a uh, a strategic move for her to get with thorn because she has always wanted the life of fame she has always wanted the riches she has always wanted the fame and the glory and the notoriety and to be seen you know in public and to be recognized and she certainly has that now i've been playing this uh this family for quite some time and i started out with her by herself by the way I do not take credit for this sim. I did not create her. Obviously, I tweaked her and dressed her how I wanted, but I did not create her. Um, it was actually, I pulled her from the gallery. And if I can find the name of the creator, I'll link it below. But suffice it to say, she is a badass. Like, she is a badass Mama Jamma. <laughs> she wanted a life of fame and fortune, and she went for it. And like I said, Thorn was more of a strategic move. And realistically, 
she didn't really intend to wind up married to him with fucking three kids. Although we'll get into that in a minute. There's a story there as well, of course. So, um, and then obviously Thorn is a sleazeball if he would cheat on his wife like that, his first wife, and get with, uh with miss cleo here but you know she really only intended to be his boyfriend you know kind of get some notoriety get some get some eyes on her so then she could really pursue her dream and uh example of oh this is adorable i've never seen them play in the water yet before that's so cute i love it i didn't create this house either by the way like it's on the gallery it's gorgeous it's fantastic i love it but just making sure I don't take credit for things. <laughs> so she is a stylist. That's the career, right? Trendsetter, trendsetter. And she's at the very top of that career track. She's an icon of class. <laughs> and uh, she busted her ass to get there, let me tell you. And Thorne was a part of that. But now... It's kind of strange for her because she has basically achieved everything that she wanted. She's, you know, gotten the fame, she's gotten the fortune, and then some. I mean, this girl makes a ridiculous amount of money, plus she does videos. So let me see, where's her setup? Her setup's over here. Yeah, she does uh, YouTube videos, straight up streams and things like that, much like your girl right here. Although she makes way more money doing it than I do. And um, so she's just like rolling in the cash at every freaking turn. She's ridiculously rich. But what she's found is that she's not really all that happy when all's said and done. And it's kind of confusing to her and conflicting to her. And she has these beautiful kids, but... She didn't even really want them either. When I moved into this house, I got rid of their butler, but up until now, she has had a butler that basically raised her children for her and took care of them for her because she's a workaholic. She's hardly ever home. When she comes home, she's stressed out and is going straight to planning her, um, you know, her YouTube videos and all that good stuff. So she really doesn't interact that much with her kids. I mean, obviously we saw her playing with the baby just then, but... I feel like that was kind of a fluke incident more than the norm, you know what I mean? And uh, one thing that has happened to her recently, uh, well, not super recently anymore, but at least fairly recently, is she started to play on the wild side. And this girl has, like, such a good reputation and is, you know, a global superstar. Like, she is seen everywhere. All eyes are on her. But she has such a good reputation that she's sort of, like, if she does anything wrong, if she does anything you know, unsavory, <laughs> so to speak. It just sort of flies under the radar for her because, oh, I'm sorry, I keep smacking my hands together because I'm talking with my hands over here like you can see me. <laughs> Excuse me. But, um, yeah, it's just, it really kind of goes unseen. And she started having an affair, yeah, with a much younger guy. And his name is Archer. Like, look at them. It's all about romance and attraction with the two of them. It's all about romance and attraction. So it's really just something for her to take her stress out with, you know what I mean? It's something for her to enjoy. Um, I've been trying to do homework for school, but the last few segments have been really hard. Maybe I'm not smart enough to do it. What do you think? Now, this is one thing I will say. She tries with her kids. So I have to give her a little bit of credit there. She tries, you know? It was never her intention or her goal to be a mother, especially not to three damn kids, but she tries. So uh, spend more time, practice make perfect. Uh, focus on different topics. I'm going to say spend more time. You know, Cleo is very much a go-getter. She's a very self-assured, self-responsible. She's definitely one of those like most successful people that feel like you make your own success. You are responsible for your success, you know? So that is absolutely something she would say. And obviously it affects our baby's emotional control, but you know, she should hopefully get some more responsibility for it. By the way, let me just say, I really enjoy the parenthood pack, like side note, I really enjoy how much layers 
it added. Oh, look how cute she is. She looks freaking adorable right there. <laughs> Spitting fucking image of her mom. Seriously. By the way, these are the kids. I haven't even introduced you to them. This is Cordelia. She's the oldest daughter. She was their first child and kind of the reason they got married, to be honest. Because like I said, Cleo didn't really intend to be a mom. It wasn't really in her plans to be a mom, but it just sort of happened. I love how they're just like having a fucking family dance party outside. Like, this is so cute. This this is way more positive and put together than this family ever is on a gi any given typical day. <laughs> but um, yeah, so that's Cordelia. She is the oldest. This is Theta. She's our second girl and definitely favors her daddy more than her older sister. And this is Andre. Now Andre, you might notice, is a little different looking from his sisters obviously and that is because Andre is a product of Cleo's affair and she was sort of hoping and praying let me fix his needs a little bit before he gets real cranky she was just sort of hoping and praying that it wouldn't turn out like it did where he favors his father so much like his father is a pale princess if you can't tell <laughs> Like, such a pale princess. And he's so not Cleo's type. It's such a weird thing. Like, Cleo is into the 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 manly man, the, you know, the buff, the, the kind of, pardon me if this is offensive to anyone, but kind of like the douchey look, you know what I mean? The Jersey Shore type of guy. And Archer is not that. Archer's like a programmer. He's a super smart, nerdy guy. And he is a good looking guy, but he's like, that's not really his style, obviously. And, um, but she went for him. Something about him, something about the fact that he didn't really give a shit about her fame and notoriety, that he didn't really care that she was this, or wasn't, I should say, not didn't care, but wasn't, um intimidated by her stature and her status really got her like totally got her like obviously like i said her her relationship with him is completely um romantic like it's sex you know it's all about sexual attraction so <laughs> Of course, in that kind of scenario, only in, you know, my stories, <laughs> they wound up with a love child, naturally. As far as I know, Archer doesn't know about his son with Miss Cleo here. And I don't think Cleo ever has any intention of telling him about it. I mean, Archer never comes to her house. Her kids are never out in the public eye, you know, especially not at that young of an age. So I really think as messed up as it sounds that she intends to continue this affair with Archer without telling him about their child together. And uh, you may be thinking, well, how the hell did she go through the whole pregnancy without him knowing about it? Well, they don't actually see each other that often, you know. She's a celebrity. She's got a lot going on. She has events. She has photo ops and blah 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 and one thing that she's been very careful about with all of her pregnancies all three of them is to make sure nobody fucking knows about them <laughs> like she is very good at maintaining her image like this girl has got it all when it comes to like charisma and like she was built for fame that's all i can say she was built for it Meanwhile, Mr. Thorne is actually trying to be a good husband and be a good dad. Like, he recognizes what a woman he has, but he also recognizes the distance and the coldness from her. And, you know, he realizes that maybe he made a mistake, but at the end of the day, this is where he is. You know what I mean? Like, this is his life now, and he has three kids, one of which he thinks is his, but Loki sus suspects is not, you know? Um... But isn't even entertaining that thought because it would just destroy everything they have and he doesn't really want to do that, you know? He destroyed his life once with Octavia to be with Cleo. So, 
<sighs> it's an interesting fucking time, you guys. And uh, that's kind of where we are with them right now. Like, it's a little sleazy, but it's a little fun. It's a lot of fun, I should say. It's a lot of fun. And it's I'm interested to see what happens with these girls. Because they're really young right now. But there's no way in hell that they aren't affected or influenced by the actions of their parents. And especially by the distance of their mother. This is their mother, you know? Even though she's there, even though she's home most of the time she's not really present with them you know what i mean and their father is more of a father than or more of a parent i should say than she is and uh so i'm really interested to see what happens with the girls as they grow up i'm interested to see what happens with andre you know he's gonna have like a freaking identity crisis honestly <laughs> as he gets older because he doesn't know he has no idea like what a bomb to drop on a kid or maybe Maybe he'll just never fucking know. I don't know. You guys tell me what you think I should do. Honestly, I'm like curious, even though this is just a, you know, what's what you call it? A household, current household type of dealio. I'd be really curious to see what y'all think. So yeah, and real quick, I'll just kind of show you at a glance um, <clears throat> what I do nowadays with my, let not let's plays, but with like my current what I'm playing on a regular basis just to kind of give you guys ideas if you haven't had them yourself already I'm sure you have you guys are smart but it is a really interesting way to liven up the town and since getting a what you call it a mod that really fixes the issue where I don't know if y'all ever ran into this but I certainly did where if you played a save for several generations and, and therefore the town was populating for several generations it got real wonky at a certain point like it got very bogged down it got very slow things were glitching out all the time and since I found a fix for that if you're interested in that let me know and I can link it to you guys um but yeah, it's awesome. So I can actually play the way I want to play. So here we have, this is where Archer lives. Archer lives with his sister. I forget, what did, what's her name? I forget his, her freaking name. But he lives with his sister. And she is also like a YouTube streaming star. And that's actually how they met. Because she knew Cleo and they were kind of cool with each other. And then, you know, they lived together. So that's how Cleo got involved with Archer in the first place. This is Octavia, obviously, and their son. He's all grown up now. He's a big boy and a handsome boy too at that. And let me tell you, I didn't mention this, but like since being with Cleo, Thorne has had nothing to do with his son. Absolutely nothing. Isn't that kind of fucked? I mean, am I the only one that thinks that's kind of fucked? I don't know. You tell me. <laughs> So that's there. And if you'll see, I have tons of played households, mainly between Brindleton Bay and Del Sol Valley, I'll be honest, because I haven't just, I just haven't bothered to reach out to these as much. So we'll go to Brindleton Bay. <clears throat> and uh, so these are some of my other households. I actually was playing that family most recently. They're really new. I played them on stream recently and um, we renovated their living room. <laughs> actually, it's pretty fun. Um, but yeah, I just have a whole bunch of households here. Most of them I did import from the gallery and kind of tweak myself. Um, just so you know, because I can't be bothered to take the time to create them all myself. But I still create kind of the story and the ideas and the concepts for them. And most of the time, it's really just to fill my town with non-standard sims, you know what I mean? Because like, like the sims the game cranks out can be kind of boring and really strange looking so I try to keep it a little more uniform a little more realistic at least for me so yeah um just kind of like a quick glance at how I'm playing nowadays and these different families and I would love to kind of go into more detail with all of them at some point maybe by the way that right there so that is actually my sim self and a sim of Caleb and I played them together for quite some time. Obviously, they're elders now. Isn't that crazy? And they have fucking four kids. Bitch, no, I would never. But <laughs> this is The Sims, so you can kind of get away with it. And uh, Archer and his sister are actually my sim self and Caleb sim self's children. <laughs> so that kind of played out interestingly. But yeah, just side little tidbit there. 
But anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for tuning in and stopping by and watching my current household. I really, really appreciate it. And thank you, guys. I just want to say from the bottom of my heart, thank you so much for supporting me after all this freaking time. Those of you guys that are still here, like, thank you from the bottom of my heart. I do not deserve the love that I have been shown coming back. Like, it means, it really means the world to me. So I just wanted to formally and officially take a moment to sincerely show my gratitude for you guys. And I hope to do more in the future. You know, let me know what you think. And um, I will say I don't really have any intention of continuing my old Let's Plays. Maybe doing like a quick update, you know, rundown of what's going on with them since I've been playing them a little bit off camera, obviously. Um, but I really think if we're going to move forward. I kind of want to do things differently. I really, really want this to be a new leaf. You know what I mean? So, and obviously even just the structure of how I'm producing content is totally different with me switching over to mainly being a streaming channel. <laughs> so, you know, just let me know your thoughts. Let me know what you'd like to see and um, any ideas you have. And I would be really open to it. And uh, I'm looking forward to what comes next, you guys. I love you guys so much. And I really appreciate it again that you took the time to stop by today and watch my video. So yeah, I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your day or night or whatever, and I will see you next time.